Dalagang Pilipina, yeah Isang dalagang Pilipina Dalagang Pilipina, yeah Isang dalagang Pilipina Ay, nakita kong isang babae Di ko malimutan ang kanya imahe Ano ba ang iyo pangalan noong nakita kita Ako'y di mapakali Gustong mawagan ng iyong mga kamay Hanggang ngayon hindi mapalagay sana ikaw ay makasabay At nang malaman Yes bro, by the way, your post yesterday is so lovable So amazing talent bro that you had I'll comment that, I'll share it to our group chat So that many of our friends will know about your talent After this video call that we had Goodbye, bro. See you. That's the work of Facebook to connect people. Facebook. Good morning, everyone. I am Adrian Bibulbao, and allow me to tackle about its nature. Facebook is a website which allows users who sign up for free profiles to connect with friends, work colleagues, or people they don't know online. It allows users to share pictures, music videos and articles as well as their own thoughts and opinions with however many people they like. Facebook is the latest in a long line of what we now know as social networking websites. The main goal of Facebook is to connect, yes again, to connect people and the whole world for free. As the years pass by, the Facebook exists, many new opportunities that we can use it in our different daily needs and wants. Facebook gave us opportunity to have a business transactions, live selling, showing our talents, sharing our life stories, and entertain people. Having a connection with the help of Facebook in just one click made the whole world change. Facebook allows us to react what we feel, comment on what we say, and share on what things we amaze and have an interest in. Did you know that there is a fun fact about Facebook? Yes, of course, there is. Facebook helps us to remind of birthdays of our friends and family. Facebook reminds all the memories we posted and was tagged in. Facebook allows us to stalk in our past relationships and other people that we hate off. And Facebook allows us to block and unblock people we had argued with. Wow. Facebook has a lot of memes or edited faces for entertainment. Facebook also was the number one social media app in the whole world that helps us during the pandemic. Facebook helped us to recover and access other social media accounts and game apps. And lastly, Facebook also a source of online dating. Thank you. That's all. Facebook is one of the giants of the internet today, but its founders may not have dreamed of the success when they started building it from scratch in their university dorm rooms. So now let's focus on what really is the origin of Facebook and how it all started. Well, this connects to the situation, hot or not. It all began in 2003 when Facebook founder created an outline program called FaceMesh. So it was not yet called Facebook, but FaceMesh, which allowed users to objectify fellow students by comparing photos of their faces and selecting who they deemed as hotter. Now let's dig deeper on what really is the purpose of launching Facebook application. Well, the original purpose of Facebook, or the Facebook as it was known then, was to allow Harvard students to use their educational email address and photos to connect with other students at the school. Who created or who founded Facebook? Well, it all started in 2004, where a group of friends at college created an innovation new social media platform with the aim of connecting Harvard students through an online community, and that is Facebook. 
Facebook is an American online social network service that is part of the company Meta Platforms. This was founded in 2004, but the exact date is February 4, 2004, by Mark Zuckerberg together with his classmates. Eduardo Saverin, Dustin Moskowitz, and Chris Hodge. All of them are students from Harvard University who come up with an idea. And after a month or something, the site was an immediate heat. And within just 24 hours of launch, around 1,200 students had already signed up. And that's how cool Facebook is. When was Facebook launched? So to be specific, the exact date when Facebook was launched was on February 4, 2004. And after the launching of Facebook, it became the largest social network in the world, or the universe rather, with nearly 3 billion users as of 2021. Imagine that. And about half that number were using Facebook every day of their lives. Hey guys. What's up? I'm Crystal KP Flores. I am here to tackle about Facebook and its target audiences. Hmm, we all know Facebook is still the biggest social networking channel among all other social media platforms, including YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Pinterest, Reddit, and <clears throat> Twitter. Targeting a specific audience may seem exclusive, but it doesn't mean that you are eliminating people that do not fit your criteria. Fun fact about target audience of Facebook. Did you know? India has the highest number of Facebook users in any country in the whole world, with more than 400 million users. If India's Facebook users were to form a nation, it would be the fifth most populated country globally. It's funny though, but maybe it's true if they will form a nation. Okay, let's go back to the target audience of Facebook. The target audience of Facebook are the netizens or like the avid user who uses the Facebook app, especially the youth who spends most of their time using social media. And I am here the proof or the evidence. However, unlike the popular belief that many people on the Facebook are older adults, parents, and grandparents, isn't as precise when looking at the numbers from the statistics report of every statistician. Actually, most Facebook account users are young people between the ages of 13 to 34 year old young teens and younger adults. And it will prove to us since the pandemic came. Before, the main purpose of FB or the Facebook is to connect people from the different parts of the world. If you are in the Philippines, then you are chatting to or like commenting a post from America, then you can connect without traveling or costing you money. It was mainly used for communication, FB for communication, but not but not now that the use of the app has been trendy for the past decade. They added different features in the app which enables them to widen their target audience. Now that FB already has marketplace for online shopping and selling, online dating, and live streaming, where aspiring content creators and influencers can earn money, the target audience also the of the app has no longer any restrictions. They attract people regardless of their age, gender, and race. The main purpose or they tend to use Facebook for different things like watching videos, sharing photos or posts, funny memes, and to express their thoughts through online. Did you ever wonder who are the people behind the success of Facebook? Well, stay tuned as I introduce them to you. Hi, this is Educate Verona, a BA Com Broadcast Journalism student. And as of today, we'll know more about the people behind Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg, a Harvard Computer Science student, when he, along with his three Harvard seniors' involvement, invented Facebook is now the world's most popular application.
and the world's most popular social networking page. There was a lot of accusations that was thrown to Mark and one of that is the idea was stolen and exclusively for Harvard students. And here are the first 20 employees of Facebook. Dustin Moskovitz, the Facebook first CTO and is a co-founder and was employed in the year 2004 to November of 2009. The two drop out in Harvard to move to California and work on Facebook. Chris Hughes is also a co-founder and served as a site first spokesman. He was employed in years 2004 to 2007. Andrew McCollum designed the Facebook first logo and work on the Zuckerberg. He was also a co-founder and an engineer. He was employed by Facebook in the year 2004 to September of 2006. Naomi Glade was tasked early on with making sure that literally everyone in the world was on the site. Naomi is employed in the year 2005 and up to the present. Eduardo Severin, he is also the Facebook's co-founder and also was known because he sued Mark Zuckerberg for the accusation that Mark stole his idea. That was also later on settled. More amazing facts about Facebook. As we all know, Facebook is huge. In fact, it's the number one social media site in the world. Facebook is where you go to stalk your ex, chat with your BFFL, and post your post vacation selfies. Mark Zuckerberg's first idea was a site called Facemash. When Zuckerberg was in Harvard, he had the idea of creating a site that allowed users to compare people's faces. With the platform, users could pick who's hotter. Not surprisingly, his idea didn't impress Harvard's administrators. Zuckerberg's project was shut down and he was threatened with expulsion. Zuckerberg's second idea was an online student directory. He called the directory the Facebook. People who use it could search for other Harvard students, find out who else was taking the classes they were in, look up friends of other friends, create a social network. Facebook's early years were rough. As soon as Facebook was created, Zuckerberg found himself surrounded by legal troubles. Fellow Harvard students sued him for allegedly stealing their ideas. The fight went on for four long years. In the end, Zuckerberg paid them $65 million. He also granted them Facebook shares as part of the settlement. Facebook is the third most popular site in the world. It's next only to Google and YouTube. Women use Facebook more than men. A few research centers survey found that 75% of women use Facebook compared with only 63% of men. Facebook users have uploaded 250 billion photos. This means 350 million photos are uploaded to Facebook every single day. The older generation is growing more interested in Facebook. In 2015, 71% of American teens were on Facebook. Today, the number is down to 51%. On the other hand, seniors are part of the fastest growing group on Facebook. In 2018, baby boomer usage reached 60%. Facebook is super popular in rural areas. Three out of four American Facebook users live in the city. But this doesn't mean Facebook isn't popular in rural areas. In fact, 66% of American adults in rural areas use Facebook. It's followed by YouTube, 64%, and Pinterest, 26%. Asia Pacific accounts for 38% of Facebook's active users. Indonesia, India, and the Philippines are the countries seeing the biggest growth in Facebook user accounts. People are most active on Facebook at 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. If you are a business person or a marketer looking to advertise on Facebook, it's best to stick to morning and evening posts. And last but not the least, Facebook. 
Facebook is a popular platform for marketers. It is 6.3% of marketers use Facebook to promote a brand.